Pipeline factory stubbing. We have some disallowed variables. We have an assert statement to wrap objects with. We have the error checking for the WebGL pipeline. No code here yet. We have the artgirl ini function, which is the render pipeline factory. A temporary reference to the WebGL object, which we will use later. Right now we're stubbing in the code. In variable declaration section, we have the loop variables for going over the different pipelines by index. We have the shader source variables, vertex and fragment. We have the three different IDs for vertex shader, fragment shader, and program ID, and some miscellaneous variables. We're going to do some pre-initialization here. Uh, the first index for the render pipelines is one. The last index for the render pipelines is the total number of render pipelines. Everything starts out as okay. This is a one indexed loop. First, we compile all of the vertex shaders only if everything is okay, and we loop through all the different indexes, do all the code. Compile all the fragment shaders only if everything is okay. Loop through all of the different pipelines by index. Do all the code. Create all the shader programs. Same thing, only if everything is okay. Loop through all of the indexes for all the pipelines. Do all the code. Finally, we have just created this section to make it more consistent with the rest of the code. This code has just been indented. We've put a delta marker here. The most recent delta marker will always be closest to the column limit. Render pipeline load, the default pipeline. We do this after artgirl has been initialized. And some notes on the difference between OpenGL and WebGL, and that is all.